to Yolande Makolo, the government spokesperson who made the time earlier to join me to shed more light on Paul Rousse Savagina's presidential pardon. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, we'll just dig in. Uh, Paul Rousse Savagina actually made the time to write a letter acknowledging his uh, faults in pursuit of a presidential uh, pardon which now has been granted. I wanted first of all to understand what factored into making this decision. The granting of presidential pardon is something uh, that we do regularly within our laws. It is uh, something that is within the uh, prerogatives of the president. So this presidential clemency uh, is in this framework. Mm -hmm. uh, Ursa Sabagina and Kalis Sabimana, along with uh, 18 of their co-accused, have been granted uh, presidential clemency and uh, the sentences have been commuted. Mm -hmm. but this, according to our law, this does not mean that the underlying condition, the underlying conviction is extinguished. This stays on, which means that if they commit crimes, um, commit crimes that they're convicted for or similar crimes, they are liable to re-arrest. Mm -hmm. oh. This uh, clemency that has been granted um, allows, uh, will allow them to, uh, to, to serve out uh, the rest of their sentence uh, as, as free as free people. Mm -hmm. I, I want you to shed a little bit more light on that in terms of where he is going to be staying when he is um, moving on with his life. As you said, he can now serve the rest of his uh, sentence as a free man. Will he be staying in Rwanda or will he be going back to the U.S.? And should he decide to go back to the U.S.? Are there measures in place? Should he defy some of the terms? For example, venturing back into politics. Yeah. So it's important to understand that Rosa Sabagini has accepted moral responsibility for the crimes that he was convicted for in the letter that he, he submitted uh, to the Minister of Justice. He has also made uh, important pledges for his future conduct, including his exit from politics. We expect that after his release, uh, he will be, uh, in a few days, he will travel to Qatar, and from then he will travel on to the, to the U.S., to the United States, where he has expressed uh, his wish to live a quiet life um, with his family. Mm -hmm. I want to touch Kata a little bit because this was highlighted even by the press secretary and uh, there was indeed a highlight of the relationship between Rwanda and uh, Qatar. What role does Qatar play in all of this? Qatar has, uh, has played a role in seeking a humanitarian resolution to this case mm. and also playing a very important role in um, facilitating the post-release logistics. We have been uh, speaking with the U.S. Uh, government yes. uh, for some time now, and uh, we, uh, we, uh, we've had very constructive uh, dialogue mm -hmm. in, a, in a condition of, um, of mutual respect on, on the real issues behind this case, and we have been able to, to reach uh, an, an, an understanding. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate uh, the role both of Qatar and we note uh, the very constructive role played by the U.S. government in this case. Oh, yes. Interesting you bring up the U.S. government. There's a lot of speculation on whether or not the pressure from the U.S. government played any role in terms of arriving uh, at this decision. Well, I mean, it's true that the U.S. has uh, shown for a long time interest in, the, in this case. Uh, but Rwanda has also um, maintained our very serious concerns uh, about, on this issue, especially as regards uh, political violence by armed groups, including those uh, that are led by people operating in developed countries. Um, and this speaks to the safety of, of, of Rwandans. So we have had, uh, we, we have agreed uh, on the very real concerns that that we have, and we have come to, to, to a resolution with the case in this way. All right. Uh, now, before I let you go, um, when it comes to the release of these perpetrators, it's hard to ignore the victims. What does this mean for them? Well, first of all, um, justice was done. 
it's important to, to, to note that justice has been done. Uh, the consensus is the serious crimes were committed. Rwanda was justified in pursuing uh, these criminals and in, in arresting them, and our courts were correct in convicting and sentencing them. Mm -hmm. So the victims are, uh, victims are, uh, are justified mm -hmm. in this. Um, what this uh, the, part of the condition for, for this commutation is that the civil suit uh, and the compensation that uh, was that the court decided on remains. This is also not extinguished. So um, the the people whose sentences have been commuted, including Mr. Savagina, are still liable uh, for the compensation to the victims. Mm. What is the take home for the nation? and for the world in all of this? I think the take home is that Rwanda takes uh, security and safety of Rwandans very safe, uh, very seriously. And uh, uh, there are laws that govern all of us that we all have to abide by. And those who break the law, including those who use violence to, to try and get into politics, will have to be answerable to the law. Mm. Um, and this will not stop. Uh, we want this to be uh, a country, to remain a, a country of law and order, and our justice system is there to protect all of us and to ensure that uh, that uh, things happen uh, according to, to to the laws that we uh, that are set for all of us to follow, and we make no excuses about that. Thank you so much for making the time to talk to us.